Good afternoon. Um, new property tour for a house that we've put on the market or are in the process of putting on right now as I'm out here taking this video and doing the photos and measurements. Um, absolutely cracking day, um, so it looks really nice from the outside here with that blue sky and everything else as well. Um, the property is on Holmes Drive in Eastern Green. It's one of my favourite roads in Eastern Green, if I'm being honest, just because it's so quiet. I mean, just listening and you can hear the birds twittering overhead. I can hear the kids from Eastern Green School somewhere in the distance having a bit of fun at lunchtime as well. Um, just a great position. Um, I've been here for about 25 minutes, half an hour uh, so far. I haven't had a single car come past down the road. Excellent place uh, to be in if you're after a little bit of uh, peace and quiet, 100%. Um, so this property, it's a two bedroom end of terrace. But with the extension part that you can just see there to the side of the car park, um, they'd had it converted, that part's now been changed and it does have a bedroom that's down there. Obviously it can be converted and changed back to be a reception room, or to be a lounge, a dining room, playroom for kids, that type of stuff. Um, they did have it for uh, an older relative, it was the father, who did need to have the space downstairs to make it easy for going up and down. So instead of me waffling, we're going to get you inside uh, quite quickly just so you can get in there and have a look. I've just looked at the time and I've spent one minute twenty in the middle of the road in Holmes Drive talking about what the house is like inside when I can just go and show you. So I'll crack on with getting that sorted. Um, as always, I'm just going to give you a quick spin around so you can see where the location is. So we're right at the end of uh, Holmes Drive. You've got Despard Road, obviously, which sort of goes up in that direction. And that's the rest of street itself as well so again as i say testament to how quiet it is there as i say it's now one minute 40 that i've been stood there chattering in the middle of the road and uh not a car has come past while i'm here i'll show you this part as well too i will show you it when we get outside into the back end of the garden um you do have the access here that comes round. um i know most people aren't really into that prison style life so there's me trying to look for it on the bar um, but I'll show you that as we go through from that side. But what is quite good is the back garden with this property, if I'm being completely honest, isn't the biggest back garden. But obviously you do have a massive amount of frontage. So this section that's here obviously is all yours. As I spin around here, you can see you've got the driveway, which would take you know, two to three cars. And you've got the additional space that's here. Um, another car parking space. So you know if it was clear, you could probably get three to four cars that are on there got a lawn area and stuff there so there is a bit of grass and then out the back is a little bit more uh, hard wear and it's got block paving there but as I say let's get you into the property so I can show you that in the flesh so it's good that you've got the storm porch with this one as well too um, you can obviously get inside if it's wet and raining dump your shopping kids dogs whatever it is without having to worry about getting soaking wet because we all live in England we know that the weather's not like this all the time so the house itself, um, it will need to have some renovations to it. I mean, it's livable at this moment in time. It's clean and tidy. Um, obviously, one of the things that you can never really account for is people's taste. So I'm sure if somebody came in here, you could live with it as it is currently if you just wanted to go around and change the decor and stuff. Um, things like the stair lift, obviously that will be going. The uh, current owners are in the process of getting that all sorted out. But as you can see, it has been geared up for an older relative. So we're going to go into the lounge area to start off with this one. Um, it's got a really nice flow with the house, which as we walk around you'll be able to see. Um, that's from the front. So again, nice and quiet looking out onto the road. I've managed to get that angle just right enough that you're able to, to look out and see through the blinds. Um, there is a radiator that is tucked down at the back of there as well too. Obviously you've got TV point, there is the gas fire, uh, telephone point all in here as well. Um, this is your sort of main lounge area. They've got the archway then, as you can see. Um, goes through to you know what they did used to have years ago. I was informed by one of the family members was like the dining area for it as well. Um, they added these doors um, a couple of years back, but it was a place for their dad to sit. Um, as you can see, he's got like a little raised decked area with the fence and then lights and stuff. So we had somewhere to sit later on in the evenings. Um, let's go into the kitchen area because I'll show you all of the garden in just a second. Um, I'm just going to flip the light on because. With the way that the kitchen is, obviously you get all of the lights coming from the side at the moment, but this is the kitchen. So as I say, again, we're not going to make any, uh, you know, false assumptions or, or try and tell you something that it's not. Um, the kitchen will need to be updated, but as I've mentioned earlier on, um, it's clean and tidy. Everything works. You've got, you know, space for all of the, uh, the essentials, as we call them nowadays, like your dishwasher. There's your washing machine, space over there for a tumble dryer. Got a wall mounted valent uh, combination boiler which is just tucked away there at the back behind the TV. 
Um, and this kitchen itself is quite deceptive. It has been extended, so you've obviously got you know the, the space there that goes out to the side of the back door. But this is your main kitchen area itself, just across here. And then it comes back in this direction as well. And you've still got you know your window, obviously your sink for washing up and everything as well. Um, and you do have those dual access points, so you can get to the garden uh, directly off the dining room, or just go through the side door in the kitchen. So I'm just walking back into the main hallway now as we go around the corner. There's me. Wouldn't be one of my videos without me popping up in the mirror. Starting to get to the point where I'm thinking people are putting mirrors up just to catch me out with it. Um, so this is the room here I was telling you about outside. Um, you could use it for any type of purpose. The wardrobes, the chest of drawers and stuff that are at that end of the room. Um, they're not fitted so they can be removed and taken away. So you would be left with... A very good size room to be perfectly honest um, that's a double bed um, in fact if I go from this side actually because I've come in and walked straight down to this end of the room but it might give you a bit of a better idea of perspective if I do it this way around so as I say if I turn that's the hallway coming in there the door I've just walked in from you come into the room I'm just going to shut this here to give me a bit more of an angle to turn you might catch my arm or something in the mirror but obviously you've got your double bed wardrobes chest of drawers Mirror to mirror window to the front. Get okay, being self confused there from confusing a mirror with a window. Um, another window that goes there to the back, and then this door I'm going to show you here was the toilet that was added. So in here, um, it is what it is. There's a toilet, there's a sink, there's a window to the side. It's got a heated towel rail as well too, so it's not going to be like a cold room or anything like that. It is part of the uh, the property. It's got the central heating that comes through to it. But again, really good you uh, good room to have. Um, as I say, whether you wanted to keep it as a bedroom, um, you could do if you wanted to have it as a, a games room for the kids, you know, an extra room for the family. Um, you've got that option that's there as well. And let's say you've got the toilet that's just at that end too. So again, it's a godsend having a ground floor toilet. So I'm going to go up the stairs now, make sure I don't trip or fall by the stair gate. And it's nice and light up on the landing. So I'm going to go into the first room, bedroom one. Me again in the mirror, catching myself a few times today. Um, so in this one, double room, um, you've got over that side there the fitted wardrobes, a um, little chest of drawer space again as well. Um, again, without sounding like a broken record, you know, it is, it's a, a little day to the owners are aware that, you know, it does need to have some work done to it, but it's more than livable. If you just gave it a lick of paint, a bit of decor, you could get on with, you know, doing the decorating and, and re renovating it to your standard at your own pace. Go into bedroom two. And with this one again, you would be able to get a double bed in. Um, that's a single. You have got a bit of space just down the side there, maybe a foot, foot and a half. Um, so you could get a double bed into here quite easily. They've got wardrobe space uh, on both sides here. So you've got a, a sort of triple wardrobe just behind me, a double wardrobe, a chest of drawers. And it looks like a small sort of coffee table that's there as well. Um, good size bedroom, obviously you're overlooking the back garden which you're catching glimpses with the way that the blinds are but we'll go out there in a second. I um, always like it when they've got a window on the landing because as you can see with this here it is sort of painted uh, a yellowish colour but it does make it feel nice and bright, nice and warm as well too. And here we have the bathroom. Again I'm just going to flick that light on rather than trying to fiddle around with the blinds and hold the camera at the same time. Um, with this, it has been converted, so at the moment it's uh, wet room style. So we'll just come around to this side here. You can see you've got the radiators and um, all linked into the central heating, so it's instant hot water. Um, they've got the non-slip flooring that's gone into here too, so you obviously just pull both of the shower curtains across. Have yourself a shower, get out, give the floor a quick mop and away you go. Um, it's got the toilet, it's got sink. Obviously you've got the window to the back there, the obscure glass one. Um, everything in here is as it is. Uh, Non-slip flooring, it's all fully tiled to the walls. Um, they have had the waterproof uh, covering up on the ceiling itself as well. Uh, this was done a couple of years back, so it's in good condition. You know, it's very rarely uh, been used as well too. So Useful room to have. I'm going to go and take you downstairs now. So if you bear with me, I'm just going to pause the video because of that uh, stair lift. I don't want to uh, cause myself an injury and I'll be back with you when we're in the garden. Okay, so what I've done here is I've come out into the back garden via the side door. So that's the kitchen uh, area that's just here. Um, that little window just to the side is the window for the downstairs toilet. And that's the back window um, for the bedroom that was obviously added on. So as you can see, it is all part of the extension. I've come through that door. 
um, it then leads you out to the side here in the back garden which as I said you've got the lawned area to the front and it does quite a decent size frontage and then you've also got this area here which the time now is what I'd say in the region of about quarter to one um, lots of sunlight out here as you can see you do get it um, it's kind of directly over me just to the, uh, the back at this moment okay so the video cut out just a second ago as I was walking um, so I'm going to have to end up patching this through so if there is a slight blip or anything don't worry it's not me being awkward uh, modern technology and me don't agree sometimes um, so I'm just going to finish off what I was saying here that I may have missed with the back garden um, sun's directly overhead um, so you're clearly getting the, the sun um, during the afternoon and into the, uh, the evening um, it's about 10 to 1 at this moment in time now and as I say it is literally overhead if I sort of angle it up in this direction just ever so slightly there you go you can see where this one is um, it's nicely enclosed this garden is obviously it's all block paved but you could get this up there if you wanted to and put a lawn back in there and you do have the gated side access that goes back round to the front of the property as well so if there was anything further about this house that you wanted to know feel free to give us a call 02476 694333 we'll be happy to answer any questions that you've got arrange your viewing or give you any further details and information that you require thanks ever so much for watching the video if there's anything else you need give us a call enjoy the weather take care